Hello everyone, welcome to episode 30 of our Feed the Beast Let's Play series. So, I've got something pretty good for you guys this episode. That is, this farm. I, I just want to show you what you can do, and if you get this wheat, you can put it in a crafting bench to turn it into wheat flour from Natura. And then I believe it can be smelted up. Oh, that's a painting machine. I'll just put it in there. And you know how vanilla, if you get one for one with bread? This is a way to actually stop you from getting one for one. So instead of you just getting one for one, you now get... Well, not one for one, three, three for one. It allows you to get one for one. There we go. And the thing is, we're making some bread. But are we really finished here? No, we're not. You can actually turn this into toast. By re it. I believe. Oh, we didn't have any toast, so I guess harvest craft isn't in, isn't in here. Okay, that's pretty interesting, but I guess we can cope without it. I was just um, planting some stuff on my farm. Now you see the sprinkler. I believe you can put bone meal in the sprinkler. I believe it has an inventory and you can put bone meal in it. And it will slowly use the bone meal to help grow the plants. I believe that's how it works. So we'll slowly use that bone meal. Anyways, this episode I want to build some crazy stuff. But first, I think I want to put a modifier on this sword. And... You guys probably know what it is. As I've put it on a lot of my tools already. And do I have any moss? In fact, I'm saying the word moss. Oh, let's hope we don't have any moss stone. I believe we have some in here, though, don't we? Cool, yeah, we do. We have a stack. Oh, I'll just turn off not enough items. Let's make one of these. Guess what I'm going to do is, I have put cactus on it, so it doesn't really matter if, you know, because before, there we go, so I've got all to repair on it. Because if you have put a cactus tool rod on it, which is what I probably would do, but I always end up doing this eventually. So I figured I might as well do this early game as opposed to late game. So I, there is actually other ways to put modifiers on it. And I believe other ways are in the book. They're right at the end of Tinker's. Diamond animal speed auto repair auto smelt. Auto smelt is a bit pointless, I've never used it because you can just get um either stop shipping all to auto repair tools. So here we go, additional modifiers. You should have a gold block and a diamond, golden apple and a diamond block, nether star. And this is a creative only item, you can't actually get this in game without doing you know, having an admin on the server give you an item or something, so that cannot be gotten legitimately in the game. So I just thought I'd point that out to you guys. So I'll be right back guys. So guys, I wanna spruce up the house with some drawbridges. And I know for a fact that I'm the an Oh, I, I believe I pressed F9 to pause the recording and it's made my chunk boundaries come up. Okay guys, we'll be right back. So I had to press uh, F9 two more times to uh, get rid of that. I'm going to have to change my pause video key. But let's get going. So this smeltery. So we have a little bit of aluminium brass. And have you ever done this guys? You forgot to put your item in there and you made a blank cast. And you're like, these things are pointless. Well, if you have mechworks installed, as in Tinker's mechworks, you can get some pretty cool items using these casts, just these blank ones. Because what we're going to make is some drawbridges. Yeah, in fact, I'm, I'm going to go make one more, because I think I might need it. There we go. I'm going to put this in the AE system. 
and then we should be able to make a drawbridge. And you're probably thinking, what's a drawbridge? What's uh, so special about those? Well, they are pretty cool. Oh, I think we've got a sticks. See, so let's make it. I made ten sticks. Now let's try and make that again. There we go. It's three bows. Now we should be able to make a dispenser. And then a drawbridge. Oh, I think. Oh, you know, I don't know if we have any bronze left in the system. No, we don't have any bronze. Oh. Uh, bronze is just tin and copper, though. It's not too difficult. So let's get some copper. And some tin. I've got a lot of tin. Three. Okay, so it uses the other types of uh, copper as well. I don't know who did that. Right, so, ooh. Do I need something else at the top? Oh, I need aluminium brass ingots. Ooh. You know, I've forgotten how to make aluminium brass. Let's see, aluminium brass. How do you make it? So, molten aluminium brass from pouring. Oh, so, so it didn't tell us. I'm going to have to look in the materials and new book. I believe it's in here. Is, al is, al is aluminium brass in here? No, I don't think it is. I believe it's in the mighty smeltery. Here it is. All right, aluminium brass. Three aluminium, one copper. Aluminium, I'll just use ore. I'll use five ore. Perfect. So let's go over to the smeltery. And I've changed a few settings around in my recording sub setup. So now it actually runs at higher frames, which is pretty cool, guys. I just thought, you know, I'd do that. So it, it's not such a laggy video. Because I know how laggy videos are so hated on YouTube, so. I mean, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying, I'm trying to make the videos better for you guys. As the viewer always comes first. You know, I've not done any Batan yet. It's kind of getting a little bit sad how I've just completely forgotten about it. I just want to let you guys know I've not forgotten about it. Don't worry, guys. I will eventually get into it. Hmm. Why is that? Oh, our quarry's still running. You know, I keep leaving the iron. Just keep, it just keeps draining our system. But I think... I think these are just sort of being sufficient enough for the quarry to just about run. So we haven't got any power issues yet. I believe it's to do with the yeah, max input, say 400 RF, and these produce more. So it's not to do with the condo, which I was derping out and thinking it was. It's to do with this guy. So I think I'm going to have to go and sort him out too. Because he's doing pretty terrible. In fact, what do I need for a redstone? Energy cell. Let me search up cell. Alright, redstone energy cell it requires the frame, which is diamond, hardened glass, and electrum. Hmm. So. Also, we can use fused glass, which is quartz in an alloy smelter. You know, I don't have some fused glass, so I guess I can just use that. And it also requires some electrum. Now, I, uh, I believe it's gold in the sag mill. And also some silver powder. So it's this in here as well. Let's wait for this to finish up. In your own time sag mill. Perfect. So now we've got that running. I just want to well, set a sleep first, so that might be nice. So let me go and check on our smeltery. Have we made our aluminium brass ingot? I think I'm gonna make a block of it and then turn it 
Let's see, how much aluminium brass do we have? Yeah, we've got plenty of aluminium brass. Because I want to spruce up the house a little bit, and, and these drawbridges, guys, they are just absolutely amazing. We're going to solidify, there we go. Let's turn it into ingots. Because besides cast and stuff, aluminium brass really doesn't have too many uses. Aluminium brass. One, two, three. And I'll just give you a quick demonstration of what they do, guys. So if I just quickly get myself a little bit of cobblestone here. And then I... You know, I need, I need some redstone lever. Cobblestone stick. You know, I, I always forget which way around they go. Oh, cool, I got it right for once. So, say I got these guys, I don't know, set up here. They are pretty cool, nifty gadgets, and what you do is you say... Put a piece of cobble in there. So, I don't actually know what that does, I think... Oh, okay, that disguises the block. So I could say, make these drawbridges look like a piece of cobblestone. And then, now I'm just going to pop this for demonstration purposes about 16 in each. And then let them go. And as you can see, they draw bridge up or down, whatever direction you want them to go in. I believe they have a cap. Maybe? No? Yeah, I believe that cap is 15 blocks for the regular ones. And you can actually. Hmm, I don't know. So draw them back in, and they draw back the cobblestone. I believe they also keep their inventory when they're broken, so these drawbridges I think so you still have that cobblestone, which is pretty cool if you ask me, so it means if you move them around you don't need to use dollies, and they're pretty cool. So I'm just going to break all these guys. And I definitely think we can use those for sprucing up our home. Alright, so what's going on downstairs? Have we got any gold powder? Yes, we have. Has, how are we doing for silver? You know, we are a little bit low on silver. I'll put that in there. So, I said I have the machines upstairs, but that's when I'm like doing just general stuff. When I'm just like doing stuff like this, it is pretty practical to use these. But definitely, I need to make this thing and upgrade this energy cell because it's adequate for now, but it won't be for much longer. Hmm. I'll just, just need to wait for that one little bit to go. There we go. Electrum. Oh, oh we still have a little bit of resin in there. Cool. Is that going to be enough? I don't see, see stuff happening. I'll just get a little bit of redstone, I don't know, maybe eight, and I'll put that in there. Hopefully it will be enough. In fact, it should tell us actually how much it needs on, say, the frame. It requires... It just says it requires destabilized redstone. I don't know how much it needs. That is destabilized redstone. You know, I'll give it 16, what the hell, I'll just... I don't use this, like, a crap ton of power, but... Hmm, I wonder why this isn't working. Because that should be working, shouldn't it? Maybe, no? See, so it needs the empty frame put in with... Oh, 4,000 millibuckets, okay, so it does tell us. I don't have enough. Is one redstone worth how many little buckets? I don't know, I'll put in five. Yeah, it looks like one little bucket per one bit of redstone. Yeah, there we go, so now it's beginning to tick over. Wow, that uses a lot of redstone. That's 40 redstone to make this thing. And a lot of power too, so it requires more electrum, lead, and... Ooh, do we have the electrum to do that? Oh yeah, we have four. Just enough, I think. 
make what am I doing? Let's make one of you. Do we have any lead? Yeah, we've got plenty of that stuff. Let's get you. Put you in there. I believe you, you can now be crafted. Yes, it can. Now the next step up is the resonant energy cell and I spelled resonant wrong. I, I always seem to spell it wrong. Oh, I can't even spell resonant now. I'm doing terrible here, guys. My brain is not functioning at all. Um, here it is, resonant. So this requires endurium ingots, which I believe is Endurium blend, which is pulverized shiny metal, and yeah, I've not seen any shiny metal under the, under the ground actually. So, ooh, plant and grains, extra bees, purified plant. Oh, it comes from platinum ore. Okay, so yeah, we won't be having that for a good while. <laughs> Let's just say that. So I believe we power problems should. I won't say they'll be resolved for this, but we'll definitely be in a better position than we were. So it's now going to gain power, but I need to make, I believe, this, this, and this an output. There we go. So all these machines are now going to get power. You're getting power. That's getting power. That's getting power. Yeah, everything's fine now. So power problems definitely sorted now. Well, let's put this away. And as you can see, he is now filling it with energy. So, because he can see accept more power than what the harder one could. I don't. The problem is now. I don't know what the problem is. Because of the conduit. Hmm. Okay, guys. We will be right back. Okay, guys. So I've thought of an idea of what to do. So this chest here, which processes my ores. I want to be able to put more stuff in it, but I need a capacity card for that. And for that, I'm going to get my inscriber out again. I know, it's a massive pain, but uh, I'm going to have to do it. So I think I'm going to put it upstairs. Let's see, I'm going to put him right about here there you go that looks pretty cool and now it is a bit of a pain guys so I'm going to make this off camera and once I've done I will be right back ok guys we're back and I think I can put him inside this export bus here and that will mean that I can open up more slots in it so I can put in tin iron and that means I'll get put in there, and that'll be put into this sag mill. Pretty cool. Problem is it will occasionally get cobblestone, and decide I want to sag mill that. Because we have an export, we have an input bus on the side, which is just taking in anything. So, I don't know if I want to sort that out with a capacity card. I might do, or I might not. We'll see. Now what other ores are there? We've got that, we've got some, t we've got some copper. Hmm, there we go. I like, couldn't access it there for a second. And then the other popular ores, silver's quite a good one, and lead's quite a good one to do as well. I think we're getting a little bit of lag here for some reason. Hmm, I can we can't actually access that. I think, I think it was either the last episode or the episode before I was having this bug, so... I'll be right back once I resolve this bug. Okay, guys, I'm back. I did crash uh, every time I, you know, but you can't go blame it. I mean, it is a premium mod pack. 1.7 mods are new, and I have installed a few other beta and alpha mods as well, including Predict E. So let's get going with what we're doing before. So we were putting ores in here. There we go. So I've got a few ores in there. And guys, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I made a few more of these capacity cards, and I'm actually gonna put another one in the furnace. Oh, I'll put two in there. I only meant to put one. And I'm actually gonna put another two at the back because it is getting a little bit annoying how it just keeps importing random stuff. 
like it's trying to import the ores, so I'm going to set it to ingots. So what we're doing at the minute, we're doing, hmm, we're doing tin, iron, copper. Right, what else have I set to be exported? I guess a lot of them are in that chest, or either being processed. Because this thing keeps taking it out, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to put that in there, that in there, and that in there. So now it should stop battling with it. There we go. So now it can safely put its iron ore in there without it just being stolen. Okay, so I'm just going to make a piece of lead and a bit of piece of silver. Or in fact, wait, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to... But do I have any lead and stuff in there already? Lead? No, I don't. I'm just going to have to smelt it up manually. Don't hate me for doing this, but I need to do that. Um, okay, so the smelting one. Alright, so now I have some lead. I've got a piece of lead, and what was the other one? Is it silver? Yeah. So now I can get put these guys in the extract. So once they're done, they will be extracted. Cool. And I will need to wait a little bit to be able to do the smelting ones. But maybe not actually. Do I have any powders? I've got a little bit of iron powder, which I can guess, I, which I guess I can smell up. So put them in there. But you know, I've just realised that this thing is set to extract ingots. Ah, oh my god, why did I do that? So I need to grind up this lead and also the silver that I made. Because I'm a derp. And I can't, oh, I guess I can't grind it. I'll use the grinder upstairs. Oh, and before I forget, guys, I nearly forgot. I'm just put these guys in here. I made a little bit of a, I don't really know what you call it, but like a bit of a barrier. So now I've got a barrier that goes from here to here. Ooh. My redneck cable for some reason has gone invisible. I think that, was that the first thing that caused me to crash? This redneck cable. There we go. I'll put it back. And these are drawbridges, what, what I was showing you guys before in the episode. Hmm. Alright, so that iron smolting up good. Is the iron being pulled up the back? But not all. I need this. Put that in there. Cool. Now, what's going on with that level of iron? Is iron being pulled? Oh, yeah, iron's being pulled out. Oh. Do you have any iron powder? No, iron powder's not being pulled out. I guess it is, but... Hmm, what's happening here? All the iron powder's being stolen and put in here. Oh, okay, that's where the iron powder's gone. So I'm going to set it to only take out iron powder. There we go. Put that back in there. Cool. So that's going pretty well guys, so I just want to make this automatically smell because... Okay, so I stopped that, so I mean this thing, I'm going to get it going at some point, and then... How many more ores do we have? So yeah, the ores are definitely being processed now. The cobblestone, in fact, I've not said it to get rid of cobble, have I? And you can sometimes randomly get these ferrous metals, so... Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave them in there and just deal with them later on. Cool, so at least we've got that sorted. I think now though, I want to go and set up my farm. And at some point though, I will have to install Pam's Harvest Craft because it's such a cool mod and allows you to have some pretty cool farm, like some food, so maybe merry culture or agriculture or some kind of cool mod. I mean, all of the mod package it's just been released. It was released maybe about a 
couple of weeks ago. I, the mods, you know, they're, they're still pretty cut, cutting edge, edge mods, and they're not really been. I mean, they've been tested, but they're still pretty new and whatever to this version of Minecraft. But see, though, I can't wait to see what 1.8 mods come out with, though. I mean, 1.7 mods. Well, say A year though, I don't know whether I like how it's been brought up from 1.6 1, or not. I mean, I kind of do, but I don't really like this whole idea of channels. It's kind of made... It's required to think a lot more, to be honest. That, you know, you have to put a bit more logical thinking into it. So... In fact, do I have any more powers besides iron? Nope. Doesn't look like it. So I think, guys, this is a pretty good point to wrap up the episode. So I'm just going to put my security door back. I did put this um, set of wall here so you can't actually see through. So now, I mean, so anyone else log say I made it the server or something, someone else tries to rob my base, they're just going to think, well, there's nothing down here. This is pointless. Maybe I could hide this or something, and then they won't notice that this is a bit of a secret room or something. I don't know. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, take it easy.